Nuisance 5 jury selection looks promising in the trial of a father accused of leaving his son to die in a hot car purposely. The child died in June of 2014 in Cobb County. A judge ordered the highly publicized trial move to Glenn County on the Georgia coast. Channel 2's Ross Cabot, there live, where the judge appears pleased with this jury pool. Well, Justin, no surprise that of the thir first uh, three groups of jurors questioned here, most had heard about the Ross Harris case, and a majority had formed some sort of opinion about it. But when it comes to the depth of their emotions, it doesn't seem to be nearly as deep as those potential jurors up in Cobb. And I represent uh, Ross Harris, and this is Ross on the far end in the red tie. Harris's attorney, Maddox Kilgore, introduced himself to a whole new batch of potential jurors. 325 miles away from the courthouse where the first murder trial against Ross Harris had started until a judge ruled Cobb jurors held too much against Harris for a fair trial in Metro Atlanta. The judge polled the Glenn County jurors in groups and the first reviews looked good. If you are not perfectly impartial between the state of Georgia and the defendant, Justin Ross Harris, please stand. No one has stood up. Although some jurors told Judge Mary Staley Clark they'd heard about the Harris case, he, the father and former Home Depot employee, accused of killing his son Cooper by leaving him strapped in an SUV on a hot day while sexting with underage women, few jurors here initially indicated they held thoughts or emotions against him. It is what our legal experts predicted. I expect this to go much faster, and I expect the vitriol to not be as fierce against him. You know, it's not a topic of conversation down here. Court officials are hoping transplanted Atlanta Lance Lipman is right that time and distance will allow them to get a fair and impartial jury so they can begin testimony early next month. And as we've learned from the attempt to pick a jury in Cobb, just because a potential juror has an opinion about a case does not disqualify him or her from serving on that jury. Those jurors will be asked pointedly if they could set those opinions aside and listen to the evidence here in court. Jury selection expected to take the next two weeks. We're live outside the Glynn County Courthouse, Ross Cabot, Channel 2 Action News. You know, for this judicial system, many responsibilities among them being good stewards of taxpayer dollars. This is very expensive. Uh, more details. Cooper Harris died in June of 2014. He was 22 months old. Nearly 200 people attended the toddler's funeral. His father called from jail and spoke during the service.